Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? This is, I think, the last sunny day, and actually the clouds are kind of starting to roll in that we're gonna have for about 10 days. We're having another big storm come in, and um, lots of rain here in California. Lots and lots of rain. So we'll have a few days where there's no rain, and it just picks right back up again. So today, I need to fix our creeping fig wall. We planted these about, well, actually, it'll be three years, I think. I think it's this month, actually. Did I think, did we do it in March? Anyway, I'll, I'll put the date on there when we planted them. We planted these three years ago, and we planted uh, one foot creeping fig all along the back of our property line, which is a block wall. And down here in the west end of our property line, this is the area that gets hit the hardest during summer. The most sun, um, it's in, you know, here in Central California, Fresno area, it is unrelenting. I have a feeling that's why this never has grown all the way across. Plus I'm sure it doesn't help that Chief, our shepherd, continually marks these. They're still alive. They just don't look as healthy as the ones that are in the shade. Anyway, I have been wanting to plant one here in the corner and my husband kept saying, well, I give it some time. It'll, you know, grow to the edge. Give it some time. Well, here we are three years later and it's still not at the edge. So instead of planting a one foot creeping fig, I think this is four feet. So this will give us a little bit of a jump start. And I've already dug the hole because it was kind of in the corner and we had to dig around some cement because of how the wall was um, built. And I'm gonna put gypsum in it like I did the rest of the holes and then a little bit of biotone. So I'm gonna get this planted, feed these through the wire. And then I wanna show you our, uh, all of our hydrangeas have broken dormancy. So I wanted to give you a pan of those. And then I wanna show you some tulips that my mom gifted me. Yeah, I got them all planted in front of our early blue hydrangeas and those are already blooming. So let me get this planted and then we'll go over to the hydrangeas. It's already made a four foot difference. I took a couple of the twisty ties and kind of helped it a little bit. I'm, I'm even thinking about running one more heavy gauge wire right here just to help it a little bit. I have to come in here and put a five gallon per hour emitter down here at the bottom. I think when we first planted them, I had either two or three gallon emitters and I went ahead and pulled them all out and changed them to five gallon just because of our heat. So hopefully, Within a few months, we'll see some growth, but I wanted to show you the tulips and the hydrangeas. So let's go over there. You can tell my iris are always the first to bloom as well as my geraniums. I'm not sure if we cut a photo of that. The calla lilies have emerged and hopefully they'll start blooming soon, but you can tell all the macrophylla hydrangeas that I have planted here of broken dormancy. And then around this area, more iris. And I think I need to add a little extra iron tone because these look like they're suffering a bit in the back. But don't the tulips look real nice? I will make sure that I put all the names of the different tulips that uh, my mom gifted me, but they've turned out just so beautiful. And I'm so excited that I'll have to show you the front yard. Those have all come up, but nothing has quite yet bloomed. And then real quick, let me show you the lemon cypress. 
I just wanted to show you that in just two and a half years, this was a one foot lemon cypress that I picked up at Lowe's, put it in my front window box, planted it back here, and I think it's about six and a half feet now. I actually love it right here in the corner against the yellow shed um, with my window box. It's just, I'm so glad that I kept it. I had it in a pot for about eight months after I took it out of the window box and then I finally planted it in the ground. But look how healthy it's doing. And I think we measured it, it's about six and a half feet. Let me show the height ranges over here. About a week and a half ago, on one of the days it wasn't raining, I added lamium and it will stay like this year round. So I'm hoping that I won't ever have to replace this. These are all Merit Supreme and they all look really healthy. I'm not sure why I didn't add one over here, but if I can find one, I have been on the lookout for another Merit Supreme to add right here um, by the sprinkler rock <laughs> over here. And then these don't have a name over by these calla lilies. Sometimes when you get hydrangeas from the big box stores, it just says hydrangea at the bottom and it won't have a specific name. So these are all looking real healthy. And then there's my calla lilies and then all the podocarpus leaves. That is a messy, messy tree, but provides great shade. We purchased a new camera a few weeks ago and we're using it today. So I hope you can tell a difference. I hope the footage is better. Um, I thank you guys so much for subscribing. So I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching. I have so many things I wanna plant and so many things I wanna show you. However, the rain has kind of put a damper on that a little bit and I don't, I shouldn't even use the word damper because I am so thankful for all the rain and the snow. Uh, so as soon as it stops raining, we'll be putting out far more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Bye.